Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Taurus. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So if you were to get a reading from me for $30, this is kind of what it would look like. We would go into the qualities of your person as a twin flame soulmate love reading here. We would find out about their sign, their personality type, and the type of person overall. We'd find out key dates of when or where or how you will meet this person. We would find out the obstacles that's keeping them from coming forward. And we're gonna find out their feelings towards you, what actions you should take in the meantime until they come in, and the outcome. And we're gonna do tarot cards and after tarot on all of these oracle cards but i will use one tarot deck here to find out what qualities you have for this person okay we have the four of cups hmm all right so this person may be bored or get bored easily is dissatisfied with things may have some contempt against somebody or a lacking type of energy ouch <laughs> Now, this could be a cancer. They may be kind of pessimistic. They may have a birthday July 12th to the 21st, somewhere in there. Um, this could be their sun, moon, or rising sign. But I am getting that this could be their moon. And sometimes with the moon signs, they are more like the moon than they are with their sun sign. They may resonate more with their moon. So... Let's get another card here. The Four of Cups. Kind of getting with this right now, um, Neptune. And Neptune is um, all about the imagination. It's about that hangman energy that pause and reflecting and being aware, maybe even sacrificing things to get a new perspective or things that happen in divine timing. So I may not be able to get any dates on this person when it comes to that. This is water energy and third eye. So they may be very intuitive and have that ability to see clearly. They may be able to tell a lot about a person just by looking at them, may be able to feel their energy, that empath. This is about light, looking and seeing, like turning on a light and kind of getting, <clears throat> they don't ignore their intuition and they don't have any self doubts about their ability here. Let's see, what else am I getting with this? I'm getting Pisces energy, March 1st to the 10th here. Now, this may be when they feel responsible for something here. Let's see here. Let's get one more card and see where this goes. The Emperor, <laughs> oh wow. So this may be your emperor coming in, Taurus, or if you are an emperor, um, your person is coming in for you. You're showing up in your reading. <clears throat> All right, with the emperor, this is Aries energy. This is passion. This is about being fair. They may be traditional. They're very stable. They may have wealth, power, and be a leader. Wow. Number four for the emperor. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so with the emperor, I'm getting Mars energy and Aries. This is a root chakra. This is number four. With the fire. So you may meet this person in April 
I feel like you may meet them before then, but you're going to see them again in April, 11th to the 20th or something like that. Maybe you go on holidays. We have 4-4 four, four here. What's on the bottom of the deck? 4 of Wands. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Check that number out. Now the 4 of Wands is definitely peace, rest, holiday celebration. So this may be at home that they do this. This is about having a happy home, harmony, beauty, seeing the beauty in everything. Love is in the air. So this is about um, coming together. This may be at a holiday celebration that you meet this person. Maybe a wedding, something along those lines. That's beautiful energy. So this person is, what did I say, um, Cancer. So if they're a Cancer, they're loyal, compassionate, and a little bit moody, and they may be a little bit of a procrastinator. See, they're not willing to open the gate to go to see what kind of potential they may have. They may not want to... Um, they may be comfortable where they are. They may not want to get out of their comfort zone, which means walking through the gates and exploring to see where their creativity might bring them. This is about self-expression and communicating, about being optimistic and lighthearted. This is about changing their pessimistic and... Um, I kind of feel that bored or lack kind of contempt energy to a different frequency. They may have had this happen in July. Things may have started to change for this person. Yeah, they may have a contract here in the ether. Now, number six here. I'm kind of getting with this. This is cooperating and caring about things about having service maybe with with spirit having some type of responsibility this person might be family oriented and nurturing but i feel like they haven't let themselves be that in a long time yeah they may have an indecision here I'm not sure which road to go. We have 3068 might be a number you want to plug in to see what you have for angel messages. And you just type into Google angel messages, um, whatever number. So 30 or 306 or 3068 or 30 or 68 or play with the numbers and there's going to be different messages each one make sure you put love in behind that um, as well because you get a general meaning otherwise if you put love in there um, it's going to tell you about the love aspect of those numbers so and it will give you the messages from your angels ancestors and spirit guides and definitely look up the 444 that is of some significance. Let's see here. We'll go to tarot to find out about uh, when you're going to meet this person. I kind of get... Um, uh, well, let's just wait and see. Let's see what obstacles are coming in here. What might, might be holding this union up? Oh, they may have a soul contract with you. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. So whatever they learn from you, you they won't forget. The, this is going to be something that they can't forget. It's, it's going to be ingrained in their mind, especially with this contract. Yeah, they may feel unsatisfied. I wasn't happy the way things were going. So this could be somebody you know, or this is, they're talking about a different relationship. Now, this emperor may have had um, somebody in the past that maybe they felt held them back. Let's see here. 
Yeah, they're looking at a new chapter. I am trying to move on from that. So they may be trying to heal right now. What's on the bottom of the deck? Ah, dishonesty. So there may have been some lying um, between you and this person or between this person and whoever they were connected with before in the past. And it may have left them bitter. So let's see how they feel about you once they meet you. And we'll look at the tarot to find out when that is. Let's see. What are their feelings towards you? What are the feelings towards you? Please give me a second chance. So this may be somebody from your past. They may have said something dishonest here and possibly you knew it was dishonest. Let's see, how do they feel? I wish you would knock on my door. <laughs> So you may be saying that or your person is saying that. Let me see. <laughs> you are so beautiful inside and out and they see your true value, your worth. No other compares to you. I feel like they've put you up on a pedestal here. They really enjoy your energy. Let's get some tarot cards before we find out the rest. Tell me about the Emperor and the 444. Yeah, this is somebody from your past. <laughs> so with number four, that's all about fundamental values, stability, structure, being detail-oriented, and manifestation. So this Emperor may be able to manifest. This could be you, Taurus, or this could be your person. But whoever it is, they're from the past. So 4446, you can type in. And then 4469. This is somebody that is looking for their 10th cup. They're looking for that family, that love. Um, that They may be single and they're getting their wishes fulfilled, their content, their sense of achievement, a sense of well-being. And they're ready for a union. Now, I feel like whatever happened between the two of you, there may have been some dishonesty. Um, maybe there was some cheating going on or something. Maybe you were even married to this person. Uh, regardless, you both had a contract that you signed. And I feel like somebody felt like they were being held back. Maybe you were really young when this happened, but there is some type of indecision here about this. Tell me about this for Taurus. What is the indecision here? We have the Six of Wands wanting that victory. And I'm only reading in the upright for all the cards, by the way. So there is a sense of victory here or wanting that victory at all costs. And they may realize they they were holding themselves back, uh, maybe projecting that onto you. And we have number 3686 six that you could put in there. Give me another one for that. Yeah, this might be a king of wands that is feeling like this. This could be you, uh, Taurus. But I'm getting more this is your person. So... This could be a feminine, um, for all you masculines out there, this could be your feminine coming in in their masculine side. They're taking charge of their life again and trying to make a decision of what their, which path to go. Which is the dishonesty here? Uh, somebody that maybe was a friend to them that maybe had some extra coin there maybe was being dishonest about something to do with this person that you want to be with Taurus now it could be that this person came between you oh look at that the Empress is coming out this could be, well, the emperor is coming out in the king of wands. This could be the emperor as well showing up in his king of pentacles because he's all four kings, right, to be the emperor. So he might be showing up that maybe he had wealth. Maybe that was a lie. 
maybe he was dishonest, but he was dishonest to his empress. Yeah. And I feel like he felt he missed an opportunity and that she had a lot of options. She knows her worth or she found her worth. After this union, she may have realized what she brings to the table. She may be marriage material. I feel like long, long life material here. Like this is a huge union that could go a long time with the emperor and empress. This is a divine union. Yeah, it came to a screeching halt here. Uh, somebody walked away from this. So somebody's learned that, okay, I miss you. There's, yeah, definitely wanting you back. Let's see. No one compares to you. Yeah, there was some type of illusion here. Um, I'm kind of getting with the moon energy here. Uh, maybe an internal conflict or something was uncovered. Some type of truth was uncovered. Maybe issues kept resurfacing with a lot of fear here. So there may have been playing on somebody's fears. Page of Wands. This could be good news coming in. Acting on a chance, being inspired, hoping for a new opportunity here. Being positive and enthusiastic about something. What is this good news? Or what is this new opportunity? Mm. Might be having anxiety and nervous about this. So let's see what you should be doing. What action you should be doing or taking in the meantime until this person figures this shit out. Yeah, they're thinking about you. Maybe you're thinking about them too. Yeah, somebody was getting in the way. What is this? Tell me about the thief. What is the thief about? Ah, somebody may have taken somebody's message. Maybe have messaged you with some, some type of mean message. And you thought it was your person. Let's see. Yeah, this person, you were supposed to go towards this person. And this, somebody got in the way of this. Message, message something to take this person from you. We have 1624 and 710 or 7671. That's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Somebody has an ending and whatever this thief tried to take, uh, whether it was this person's money or try to take them from you, they've lost this person. Now it's come to an end. Let's see what the outcome is. You may have ended it, and then they ended it um, with this other person because they realized they wanted to be with you. This was your emperor. You are the empress, or your empress is here, emperor. And you realized, or they realized. Yeah, you may not want to tell anybody that you two are back together only because you want time together without any interference, especially if there was somebody else um, pulling some bullshit between the two of you, getting you to break up in the first place. Okay, that's an important card, and it hit the floor. Hang on, Taurus. I just have to pause. Okay, I'm back. And guess what it was that hit the floor? <laughs> Wedding. What? <laughs> So this could have been somebody you were married to already, or this is somebody that wants to marry you. Attraction, lots of attraction here. Yeah, there may have been unrequited love in the past, and I feel like this person didn't respect you or didn't 
didn't give you what you were giving them. It was unrequited, so you may have been giving a lot and they gave hardly anything or just enough. Yeah, you freed yourself from this. What do you need to do now? Oh, look at that engagement. They want to remarry you. <laughs> wow, holy hell. <laughs> You might have been divorced even and uh, been years since you've been together and you may have run back into each other. Yeah, there may have been codependency or some type of addictions here in the past. Let's crack the deck. Yeah, there's a lot of passion here. What else? Yep, reconciliation. I can't make it up. Okay, so you two may end up reconciling. What is your intuition telling you? Ah, oh, that you're going to plant seeds with this person. You're going to plan your future with them. Yeah, you're going to have to make that hard decision. <laughs> Let's get a after tarot in here. What does your person feel? Yeah, like a wounded warrior, but despite all the setbacks they kept going forward there was still a success so i feel like with the nine of wands they may have been wounded um maybe in an injury maybe they can't use their arm or broke their arm or had an accident a car accident or a work accident or maybe even illness or maybe even covid and they got out of that they they had success after a setback so whatever plagued them they got through it and they had success afterwards so let's have a look here tell me about the four of wands here yeah wanting that team player knows that you're a team player that you you are willing to work with this person and cooperate and there was harmony here and they cooperated and there was harmony with them what's the indecision here mm. so you may be working on your finances here and you may not want the interruption to what you're doing you don't want anybody trying to influence you or try to change your mind when it comes to whatever you're doing for work Tell me about this dishonesty. Yeah, this may, you may have walked away from this person and they were upset and crying, but they still see that two cups behind them and know that there's still love between the two of you. Whoa, they may have juggled you in the past. I'm only taking the one. <clears throat> and I feel like that was part of that unrequited love they may have felt you're holding them back and you freed yourself from them and then we found out what was going on now that they wanted they wanted to do this and they may have felt you were codependent in the past I feel like you've changed that you're not the same person as you used to be there is however a lot of passion when it comes between the two of you and that maybe why you end up reconciling um having that bond between you is is pretty tough to walk away from what's this eight of swords somebody is um anxious yeah wanting to go home to the past um <laughs> yeah that's six of cups oh look at that with the two of cups yes they have fond memories of the past and look at that they're holding the world here so they're like the world is our oyster what would you like to do they're making plans for the future so this isn't just a one night thing this is forever i'm getting all right don't be falling on the floor anymore. <laughs> so far in every reading I've done today, one has landed on the floor and it's just like these cards just pop out. So what is the poverty here? Yeah, this person may be watching um, you 
go from rich from rags to riches I'm getting here they may not have felt like you would make anything of yourself and I feel like this is kind of um, karma playing out that they're actually seeing what they had and what they've ultimately threw away with the juggling of other people and I feel like your ships are coming in and they're watching this happen your people are showing up yeah <laughs> ace of cups here look at that now you may have um met someone else here as well i'm getting so or they know what type of love you offer and they miss that there was peace there yeah they may have not been able to um sleep I'm getting, and you may have felt like this was a nightmare, and that was why you got away from this person. Let's see. Why is the uh, Nine of Swords here? Yeah, this person may message you. The Three of Wands here. You may have had some disappointments, maybe even like mixed loyalties here. But all those troubles are ending here. There's some type of cooperation it could have to do with business. What is going on? Yeah, something's surfacing. Something is coming to the surface. Whatever illusions were there in the past, they are no longer there. I feel like whatever truth has been um, uncovered and whatever issues resurfaced and fear, I feel like they're... Um, that may be still going on within your person's mind, Taurus. Let's see, tell me about the moon. Yeah, wanting that equal give and take, and they're not going to take anything less than that. They're not coming back to you, Taurus, or you're not going back to this person, unless there is uh, equal give and take, and that there has to be true love going on here. This, this unrequited love just won't cut it anymore. You aren't accepting that so tell me about the two of wands yeah you've been patient um and in the flow i feel like you have been at peace you're in harmony you're on your own journey i feel like you found your life purpose this is a lot of sagittarius you may even feel like you're on your own adventure right now so you may not be willing to you may have sun, moon, or rising Taurus in your, um, or even Venus in your chart, or this could be your person has this. I'm kind of picking up on your person more here. What's the wounded warrior? Yeah, they may have had some type of financial gain here or opportunity to make some money. And this may be what you've seen. This person feels like they are in poverty or they watched you come from, like I said before, rags to riches. Yeah, there was a lot of crap going on between you two of you. And this person may have got caught in the act or you did, Taurus. Let's see. Tell me about it. Yeah, willing to work on this union. I feel like this this kind of thing won't ever happen again. Um, I feel like your person isn't willing to go there with you if that's the kind of energy you have. Yeah, they'll just put it to rest. They won't go there with you. Let's see, crack the deck. Tell me, are, well, there's obviously reconciliation here. So yeah, they really did feel out in the cold. Yeah, and they got a different perspective now, or you do, when it comes to them. Oh, yeah, and they're single. With the Nine of Pentacles coming out, they're definitely single. And they may see your worth now, that you are abundant in your own energy. Your energy may be very alluring to this person. Tell me about the reconciliation. Yeah, they're going to give you an offer, but it's not going to be a huge offer. I feel like it's going to be a little and you give a little and you don't give too much of each other. I feel like there's not going to be any taking advantage of one another this time around. I feel like somebody's learned something here. Yeah, they're going to use their intuition and I feel like 
you are too um what's that this is a rebirth yeah with the death card there this is kind of saying about this reconciliation because with the death card remember this is about maybe somebody settling um there was some changes some endings needing to let go for a rebirth to transform and regenerate between the two of you so things had to change uh, somebody was not giving as much as they were taking and somebody was accepting that because they love the person so much but they weren't looking at their own self-worth they were feeling lack they were getting their self-esteem um, beat up by this person feeling unworthy even though they weren't the one cheating so feeling that lack and not wanted and feeling those feelings of betrayal and i feel like this this has all been feeling like that's all been healed now or healing so this they might be very slow to come back together with you taurus or you may be taking it very slow and just be putting them in the friend zone until um things progress naturally and maybe eventually you get together and reconcile and i feel like if there's any type of codependency you're out or clinginess or can't be on their own or haven't done the work um doing that hermit going within and having a look at all that baggage that they carried around from relationship to relationship and i feel like taurus maybe you've done that work already or you're still doing it now um this person is also i kind of feel like your soulmate here and the soulmate here is a deep feeling of soul level connection you may have similar values you feel like you've known each other for a lifetime you may have even had past life connection or a t um a tie contract uh, when you find one another, you may even think or say, where have you been all my life? <laughs> you feel like you are unique or special to one another and you feel complete when you're together. They show up at a very specific time in your life and it's like an easy best friend type of vibe. Like this is your soul family. This is where you're meant to be. And I feel like there was some major damage, but I feel like there was a lot of healing here. So make sure this person is coming in for you. There is love here, but I feel like um, make sure it's not about the money. This is your emperor though, but emperors are still learning too. Even though they've mastered all four of the kings and their elements doesn't mean that they aren't still learning. Because we learn until we still are learning, uh, even when we're, um, <clears throat> as we live. I mean, you could be 90 and still learning things. So it's not, you, if you don't learn anything, then you're dead, right? So <laughs> You keep learning as you live. Uh, that's what life lessons are all about. And if you could look at it in that sense that it's life lessons and everybody needs to have learning uh, curve here and understanding what they needed to learn, as long as they're learning it, uh, I could see moving on with this person. If you feel it's not too much of a nightmare, it may bring up things that you don't want to think about or you can forgive but that does not mean you have to be with this person so you may be clear and cutthroat type of <laughs> boundaries i'm getting here taurus so and with being a taurus <clears throat> you're very dependable and you're strong you may like your materialistic things but you can also be a little stubborn that's the bull in you right so don't be stubborn over something <sighs> that could be potentially kind of life-changing here so in any case i'm going to leave it there 
please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe if you haven't done so already. <laughs> if you'd like to uh, book a free read, uh, free reading. <laughs> it's not a free reading. Sorry. I, if you'd like to book a reading with me, uh, there's a thirty dollar reading and a sixty dollar reading. The sixty dollar goes a little more in depth of the thirty dollar one, so it goes beyond what the thirty one thirty package covers. <laughs> I got my words stumble, my mind's going faster than my mouth. So make sure that you um, book it fairly soon. I'm running out of space um, for this month. So, all right, you guys, take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time. Later.